bring chicken. Oh, <laughs> Rutland Water and a rather strange gathering of cyclists. Hello. They're here to support Claire Lomas. She's about to cycle 400 miles around Britain. It's a long way. I um, have days where nothing. I hope I can manage it, but each day I go out and do what I have to do. The London Marathon last year. Claire completed it in a robotic suit. It took her 17 days. You know, the marathon was a great experience, but you know, we actually had really good fun. The walking was hard and challenging, but the people made it. And you know, when you've got a good group of people and you exercise, and you just feel good for it. Claire was left paralysed from the waist down after a riding accident five years ago. After my accident, you know, I felt like every door had been slammed in my face, and I certainly did feel at rock bottom. And some days I thought I can't. You know, I was always active. I never sat down. And suddenly I'm told, them, you know, "You're going to spend the rest of the, your life in a wheelchair." And I'm like, you know, I don't know if I can live like this. It, it is so much to get your head round. As part of her 400-mile cycle ride, Claire will be taking her adapted bike and robotic suit to primary schools. She wants to spread the word that whatever happens to you, there is always hope. I, I've always believed I'll walk again. Who knows, maybe in another kind of six years on, seven years on, I'll be doing the marathon walking without the suit but with crutches. You know, see what the future holds. Oh, I'm excited and ready to go after hard winter's training, so put it to use now. Let's just have a quick chat about last year's marathon. Has it quite sunk in yet, just what you achieved last year? Uh, it still seems surreal when I see clips of it, and um, that's what led to doing this challenge. It spurred me on to do more. The support I had was just fantastic, so if I get half the amount for this challenge, I'll be, be delighted. And I've got the just text given by Vodafone to help the small donations coming in by using my text code. Talk me through the bike a moment, because obviously it's very different to the robotic suit. So obviously you ride with your hands and your arms. That's right, yeah. I'm powering the bike just by my arms. Um, your legs are stronger muscles, so it's quite hard with you know, the strength I've got in my arms. They're not designed to cycle 400 miles. Um, and also you haven't got the weight shift that you can do when you're cycling. So it's, it's pretty tough, but... I think I can do it. <laughs> yeah, well, you've, you've proved you can do pretty much anything. So now, last year you raised £200,000, and it's going to Spinal Research and the Nichols uh, Foundation. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, and what do you, uh, where are we at the moment with spinal um, research? Do you think that we're heading towards a point where people like you will be able to walk again? Um, I certainly think it will happen. It's just a case of when, and they can only do it with the funding. So that's my job. I'm in a situation where I can get out there and do what I can, and... I make use of that and hopefully I can't do it on my own. It's getting the support of everyone else, which happened so amazingly well with the marathon. And hopefully I can do my bit again. And my injury, I feel quite fortunate. I can use my arms. I can get out there and do this. A lot of people with neck injuries can't. That Some are even on a ventilator. And um, also I've had huge support. So it's not always quite like my story. And I, I want to do what I can. Do you think you'll walk again? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Somehow I will walk again without the suit. Yeah. Right. Now then, is everybody ready? Are you ready, Claire? Uh, yes, I'm ready. Yeah, OK, everybody else ready? Here we go. We're going to count down from three, and then Claire will be on her way 400 miles across the country. Everybody ready? Three, two, one. And off we go. There she is, Claire Lomas, on her latest challenge. She is going 400 miles across the country, and she's got a bevy of people here coming with her from Nottingham Trent University... The first leg is from here in Nottingham to Loughborough and she will be visiting schools, primary schools, all across her trip.